Why you back locked in the county? Feds on my yes and they send a new bounty. Ain't talking money, then get far from round me. Lost get my door talking about an egg robbery. I don't know shit, ho, I ain't testifying. Snitch go down on paper, I ain't lying. Most of these niggas not built for this life. I'll take that ride and not die for that price. Jeffrey Dahmer, I'ma eat up that time. The nigga you whip up for figures at trial. Nigga like me just go stay in denial. Demon took over, ain't my mama child. Alright, so it's your boy Cash Cup Production. I'm live with Karma 500. What's, What's good? Go ahead. Talk hey. your shit. Yeah, how y'all doing, man? You know a little comma 500 in this bit. Some youngest nigga in the city going dumb right now. Stop playing. Y'all better tap in. We on our shit right now. This my final ghost. You know what the fuck we got going on. Shit. All right, all right, all right. So, so for those that don't know you, go ahead and introduce yourself. Man, uh, for those who don't know me, I'm just excited like that. You, you can get to know me. You feel me? I, uh, I'm calm. You know what I'm saying? I'll just be chilling this shit. I'm making music down here for the city. I just started a little less than a year. You know, I got like, I think, two videos out, solo shit, singles, which is no hook and change, and those really went, you know, done for me. Uh, on my own page, they doing pretty good. Those are my two videos. I only have two videos out. Uh, I had a couple of features out that I already done worked on with, and, uh, yeah, that was, that's pretty much it, you know what I'm saying? Just really starting and really building a name for myself, you know, trying to put the city where it need to be, you feel me? Yeah, yeah. What side of the city you reckon? Uh, I'm from the south side, like the south south. All right, born and raised. Yeah, no, I'm not born and raised. I was let me I was born in Colorado. I really came down here when I was two, so I mean, I pretty much grew up here. But I was born in Colorado for sure. All right, so talk about growing up. Growing up, you know, it was a little different. You feel me? Like, it was, you know, what I'm saying, there was a little struggle, but you know, I'm thankful for the way I did grow up because I learned a lot. You feel me? So like, you know, my mom, you know, she had me. She was young. She was like 19 when she hit me. Uh, my dad really wasn't in the picture. She ain't tell him I didn't know who he was like that. Uh, yeah, so, you know, and then she came down, she went to school a lot, you know what I'm saying? Go she, nursing school and motherfucking, you know. So that shit was crazy, you know, just growing up like that. You know, my mom really wasn't able to be around like that. So she came down, to, we came down to Texas, San Antonio, when I was around like two years old. Yeah, we started, you know, moved down here with my grandpa. It was nice, you know. My grandpa got into some trouble, so he had to, uh, you know, do what he had to do to get right, you feel me? You know, got got set up, you know, did what he had to do for the family. So, yeah, he helped my mom out a lot. Shout out to my grandpa. He like my dad to me too. Helped us out a lot, like, you know, stuff was smooth. You know what I'm saying? Just simple problems going on, you know what I'm saying? Like, whole lot of shit, you know, I just felt like I was really alone, you know, type of shit. My mom, my mom got the most love for me. I love my mom, you know what I'm saying? But we ain't really talk like that because she was busy and if she wasn't busy, she was tired, you know what I'm saying? And she had my little brother, which made stuff a lot harder. And my little brother dead, we had two different days, you know. I'm going to just say it like this. I don't even know if he cuss on these, but I'm going to just say it like this. He a fuck nigga, you feel me? I'm not even going to speak on the shit he used to do and what. Ha, 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 he fucked my life up a little bit. But that's the past shit going on. And now my mom's shit doing something different. So coming up, what was he doing? Did you have to like grow up, grow up at an early age type shit? Oh yeah, most definitely. But like, I feel like that happened to me regardless because everybody I be around, if you really know me, I'm like, like mainly like uh, I like to say older than like for sure older than me. Like my brother older than me, like my brother Alex, we go by Red Latravis. He 21, goes like 25, sweet. 21, like everybody around me, like I really be around, I've always been older than me, you know what I'm saying? Gang older than me. I'm one of the youngest niggas in my shit going down, for sure. So, yeah, so that shit made me grow up a lot, you know what I'm saying? You know, carry a lot of weight, put that shit on your shoulders, man. I had a man up quick, you feel me? What were you trying to do, like, pursue as a kid? What as a kid, man, like, I was, you know what I'm saying? I ain't never want to be big, so I, I had a dream. Like, I really wanted to go to, I wanted to go to college and shit, like, I wanted to be a vet, you feel me? Uh, and... I'm real, I, ain't, I don't ever care, you know what I'm saying? Like, I like animals and shit, that's really what I wanted to do, you feel me? You know, shit ain't play out like that. You know, shit don't go your way all the time, shit don't go as planned, shit happens. Just roll a little bit, that shit look cool. You can smile. Yeah, so. Then, but I always like music, so I mean, that's pretty much what I focused on. I made that shit my, my passion, really what I wanted to do was that music shit. Mm -hmm. Do you see a lot of crazy shit growing up? Man, a lot of shit happened growing up, but like crazy shit happened to everybody. For sure. But yeah, at an early age, I seen a lot of shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, helped out with a lot. You know, uh, been around a lot. My mom been around a lot. My mom boyfriend was on really, mainly on that shit, bro. It was wildin'. But like I said, I don't, I'm not gonna speak on the facts, but yeah, for sure. I got even stabbed in my chest when I was 14 years old. Can you talk about that? Yeah, I'll give a little short little scene. I'm not gonna tell the full story. But yeah, long story short, I was somewhere I really ain't need to be. You feel me? I was 14, I was with my, with my cousin's shit. You know, went to a party. We getting fucked up. I'm getting fucked up at an early age. I'm a gang and shit, you feel me? Well, 
people pull up, I guess they mad or whatever. I guess they got, I don't know if they had smoke with my cousin Willie, but they just, they had out to go, out to go get him. We call him Willie. Crazy ass nigga. I love that nigga too, though. Anyway, so he go outside. They talk about they looking for him. They throwing beers over the thing. He, long story short, he ended up going around. It's dark outside. This in Uvalde, Texas, you feel me? Basically in the middle of nowhere, you know what I'm saying? It's dark, you know, he run around. That's my cousin. I don't care how old I am. I've been stepping since a young. You can even ask him, tell, he'll tell the story. Same way I told you. I run around out there. They try to hold me back because I'm a little bro, like female, some big female. I don't even know her name. Try to grab me. I pushed off her. And, you know, I see my cousin fighting. I looked over and his best friend on the front, on the ground. Like, if y'all watch fighting, y'all know what full mount is and shit. You feel me? He's basically like that, but he had, I didn't know he had a knife. I thought he was hitting him. So I went. Like, I say, bro, life. His name's Stemmel. Bro got stabbed 16 times, by the way, but he's still alive. You feel me? Uh, yeah, and motherfucking, I, I pulled him off, you know, I'm 14, I'm fucked up, I'm in shock, I'm like, what the fuck going on, you feel me, I'm trying to just, you know, you know what I'm saying, I seen a lot of that shit fighting, you know what I'm saying, but really, like, shit like that, these niggas all grown, you feel me, so I say, bro, life, and then I, I ain't know that bro had a knife, that dude that was on top of him, bro, stabbed me type shit in my lung right here. Damn, so how does that got you moving now? That shit had me moving, yeah, my mom, that shit fucked me up. <laughs> Oh, I, I, I be wicked. I, ever since I hit that, I woke up every day like, fuck the world. Like, in that same month, I lost my, my, the only dad I really called my dad. His name was A.B. You know what I'm saying? So that's how that shit was. Like, I, in that same month, I lost, you know what I'm saying, a lot. And that shit really changed me, made me even better as person. Mm -hmm. All right. And I know you say you did music for like a year now. Yeah. So what, what, how did it all started? Uh, really, really like motherfucking, it just happened in a way like, I mean, around all my friends, like, every time we would smoke and shit, you know, I always rap type shit. Always, like, everybody rap, you know what I'm saying? You, you know, everybody, that's the thing that people do. But, like, people are always tell me, like, bro, you good, like, you cold, my nigga. Like, you need to really, like, see what's up. I take that shit serious, so. But I was always bullshitting. Like I said, I turned into an evil person after, like, all this shit happened to me within that time period of that year. That was just a bad year. I started going to juvenile, like, fucking up, doing dumb shit. You know, because I started doing drugs more, you know what I'm saying, taking bars, like, doing, just doing dumb shit, crashing out with my partners and shit. You know, uh, and it kind of, it came to the point to where, like, I just kept getting into trouble, so I went away for a little while, for, like, a year, and I went to, like, this little juvenile bullshit place called Placement. It's a little bullshit. I was in that bitch for, like, a year, type shit, like, nine months, ten months, around the, got out that bitch, and I was supposed to go back. They sent me home on a home pass. I ran, so I ended up running from that bitch, not going back. That put a warrant out for my arrest. So I was like, I ain't going back to my mom. Da -da. Feel me? And then I ended up, you know, I was going to my nigga house, my nigga Jaco crib. I was going, you not my nigga no more. I'ma put that out. I'ma call him my nigga. I don't you know if I would do like that. But uh, I was going to his spot, and uh, cause you know, uh, little bro had just got locked up racks, and he started freaking out. And I told him I was like, bro, I'm not trying to go over there. If bro get, if there's police right now, if y'all ran from him. So my dumb ass still went, because if you my brother, I'm for the slide for you, I'm going to help you out. That's just the type of nigga I am. Well, a cop passed me. I, was, I already knew I had that feeling. I was like, damn, yeah, this nigga finna light me up. And I ain't finna hold you. I was in my mom's shit. I was like, I think 17. I had just turned 17. I was in my mom's shit. You know what I'm saying? She let me use that shit for a little bit. And I, before I even, I could even think about it, like, my first time, like, as soon as it lit me up, it was like, I was like, man, my head tell me pull over, but my foot said otherwise, you feel me? So, like, I took off, and then I ended up, like, I didn't make it that far. It's an explorer. If you ever, you know, them cop cars be having, like, V8 engines in them bitches. Them hoes push. So, you you better have some, you know. But anyways, yeah. So, I ended up getting locked up. Boom, get out. And then I catch an egg rob, like, around the time of my birthday. You know what I'm saying? That ends up hitting the Facebook. You know what I'm saying? They ended up raiding my house hard. And then, ever since then, you know, I like nigga. I felt like that was my only option. That's five to ninety nine years. I like this music shit. I I'm gonna take that shit serious. And I came home on a mission in real life. Did that shit. I was on monitor. Mm -hmm. So you beat that shit. All that shit's done with. You said what? You beat that shit. All that shit's done with. Uh the yeah. Act? I be. I need to beat in the case. I did. Yeah. All right. I can, you know what I'm saying. I can speak on the facts on that too. Cause I mean, anybody ever play me like I snitch? I speak on everything. I speak on facts, and I'm gonna stand on that. All right, so since you've been doing the music, was there anybody by your side, like, pushing you and shit to do, to, you know, to push the shit? Yeah, no, most definitely. I had a couple people, you know what I'm saying? One person that really always motivated me to do that shit is uh, my my nigga, Ronald. You know what I'm saying? I call that, he like my day one. You know what I'm saying? I went to school with him in fifth grade. I mean, first grade. We've been friends ever since. He always told me, I, I'm going to do this shit. Always told me to freestyle. Maybe first I always freestyle with Um. And my ex, for sure, on monitor, you know. Me and my me and my ex was close, you know, I was with her for five years. That's, that's how my best friend, we still, we still, you know, talk, we cool. 
she motivated me a lot. She was there really the whole time. I was on monitor, you know, kicking it for me. Shit just got, you know, went left. Do you write or everything just freestyle? No, I write most definitely. Like, I wrote a lot of my shit. Like, there'd be times, like, while I was on monitor, because I seen what I was doing. Like, if this shit would have flopped, I would have been like, oh, yeah, okay, it's not for me. Let me do something else. But the numbers was running up on Instagram. Followers was running up, so I felt consistent. Like, and I felt like that that little bit shit, that little bit gave me hope. You feel mm -hmm. me? Like, oh, yeah, I'm on monitor. I got the city going dumb. Like, I ain't even recording nothing yet. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Made a name for myself like that. Good name. You feel me? So, like, yeah, so, and I felt like, oh, yeah, I had to do this. Like, you you know what I'm saying? Like I felt like, hey, even though I don't want to, I have to take time out there and write some hard. Just at least if it's like a minute, just to get the snippet up. You know what I'm saying? So they fuck with it. See if they fuck with when they finish the whole song type shit. Mm -hmm. And I kept going with that, kept going with it. I prayed every day, prayed every day, and everything you know, fell in uh, fell into place for me exactly the way I wanted it to. That's what's up though, cause I feel like most people nowadays they they stop writing. You know, everything's just off. The yeah, ground. a lot of people don't want to be consistent, don't want to work, and they, you're not finna get where you need to be with like that. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. So how'd you come up with the name? Mm. That's a good question. I was in jail, my first time in juvenile. I got I got karma. Originally it was karma. I really added the five hundred because like I got this one hundred. We me and my nigga was high. I was like nigga, what about karma one hundred? I was like you got one right here. You can just say that. I was like nah, I don't like the one hundred part. But you know I be rolling my dime moves. I'm on my five shit. So I was like man, and I also like my thing I say with it too is like watch keep shit one hundred. I'm gonna keep that shit five hundred to a thousand. I ain't playing with them. So like that that my little you know. But Karma, I got that shit in jail. I was just called Karma because I got I had got junk because I was bullshitting that bitch. You know, my first time in there, how I know what I was doing. I was on bars. I mean, I probably deserved that shit. I would have stole off of my ass too. I was on bars, you know. You know what I'm saying? And um. I was my first time in there, ho. I wake up, you know, they wake me up. I'm nigga, I'm mad. I'm on them shits. I'm like, where the fuck I'm at? That's why you don't do them drugs. You be waking up on bars and jail shit. Man, motherfucking must have uh uh woke me up, come out there. Uh, I'm sorry, put it on my. That it was cold, so they give you a sweater when it gets cold. I started putting that bitch on. I put that bitch on wrong. Someone told me like, try to help me. I guess that's what they told me. I, and I don't even really remember this shit. So if someone told me try to help me like this. I, I said, nigga, I don't need your help. Fuck you. Like I was mad. I was already woke up in a grumpy mood. Like don't talk to me type shit. You feel me? And I learned. You know what I'm saying? Like I was like I think 15 at the time, 2016. Yeah, I learned after that shit. Uh, dude that had told me that his name, you know what I'm saying? We're not gonna, you know, say too much, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm a, was, we just gonna call that nigga. His name started with a B. We're gonna call him that. Okay, well, anyway, that's what I told you. Bro was fucked up. <laughs> You're a bitch ass you know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, nah, but yeah, bro was fucked up. So, I guess, you know, he was, I guess, one of the head people that was, I mean, one of the, you know, little juvenile, little ass niggas that was. Anyways, so I, I sit down, nigga. I'm, I'm tired, you know. I send my shit go back to sleep. We finna go to, we finna, we go ahead and go to breakfast. Boom. I just hear the slides. You hear me? Running up. So I get up, me and that nigga start fighting. Mm -mm -mm. And as soon as me and that nigga fight, we doing, we know we throwing him up. Uh, his partner jumped in. Boom. And his name started with an M. I'm not gonna go to him. Boom. Okay, so now I get a hit from two niggas. I'm still on my feet, and I, I guess as soon as they say I'm still on my shit, you know, you can't. I can't fight you niggas. I'm, I'm sure now. I'm, you know what I'm saying. I was still throwing them hoes. Though. I'm not gonna go out like no bitch. His other partner jumped in, so they jumped me. You feel me? So I, I ended up moving the unit, and then we, we ended up going security because I swung back. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, uh, motherfucker. I told him I was like, hey, I'm finna, I'm finna do this. I'm finna run up on him, cause you know what happened. You know, nigga jumped me with his people. I'ma catch him like he by himself and see what he about. So yeah, I did that. Ran up on him and I, I swear to God on my mama, my dead daddy, I beat that nigga up. And the, the guard there, my, you know what I'm saying? The guard, he's like, yeah, that shall come. I'm gonna call you calm. I'm saying so he started calling me that, so I ran with that shit, cause I fucked with it. All right, that's what's up. So when you first started dropping music, did you get a good reaction off top? Yeah. Uh, the first thing I real life dropped was probably uh. My little baby freestyle, I think, most definitely. And that shit did pretty good, and that shit, I, I was really aiming for 100 views right at the time. I swear to God, that shit hit a 1,000 in two days. I was like, oh man, yeah, let me do this shit for real then. When did the views start coming? Because I know I, I seen you got a couple tens of thousands of views on a couple videos. So when did that shit start coming? You said do what? When did the views start coming in? At what point, like, what would you say? Like... Shit, when did all the attention start coming in? Really, really, I did I did a live ass song for my uh, my little nigga, Roro. That shit went dumb, I'll go look at it right now. I still got it up, I think. My partner had passed away um, when he was, he just turned 16 on his on his block. You know what I'm saying? They spend shit, wrong place, wrong time. You know what I'm saying? God, bro. Uh, motherfucking. Yeah, so that happened, you know what I'm saying? So as soon as that happened, bro, I was hurt go because like, I was with that nigga all the way my whole time with him being a juvenile, going into placement. So like, uh, basically a year, because you to wait to go to placement, you wait like two months, you got to get all your shit gone, you feel me? Um, yeah, that happened, so 
And so look, I'm a monitor. I'm chilling. I can't do shit. I can't go talk to no more niggas. I can't do nothing about it because motherfucking my monitor. I'm on house arrest. You feel me? For an aggravated robbery, I cut that bitch off. That's no, there's no chance. You feel me? Anyway, so I get drunk as hell, motherfucker, drunk as hell. And I, I, and there was a song that me and that nigga would over. You know what I'm saying? We fucked with that hoe. You feel me? And I was like, I just started remix that hoe, just drunk. But it came so quick and so fast and so easy. That, cause it was just right, right there off the sleeve of how I was feeling, and that shit. Let me see, let me see if I pull that up real quick. And that was really like it had me going dumb for a little minute. See, like my numbers started going dumb though a while back though. Like this one, okay, June 9th, twenty nineteen. This is the video of me rapping in my uh in my in my crib, cause I'm a monitor over a beat. Mm -hmm. That seventeen thousand views. Oh yeah, this one right here. This is the raw one that put me somewhere. And were you promoting it or that was just all off, just posting it? That was just all off posting it. I okay, swear to God, on monitor, I was on house arrest. Mm -hmm. So I really did. I came home on monitor with like a thousand followers, twelve hundred followers tops. That's what's up. Who'd but, you come up listening to? Oh yeah, no, no, hold on real quick. This is the Robo video. This is the one that really like oh it was live. Thirty four thousand people seen that. Mm. And the thing that's crazy about that one too is they don't have the beat, so I did it over that nigga song too because it's kind of the same melody. That shit was live though. But I could do that, you know. It really kept put his name like, you know. It wasn't for me. I ain't tripping. I'm yeah. glad, bro. You know, right. everybody knew. Trivia it. type shit. Yeah. So, who'd you come up listening to? Lil Wayne, for sure. You oh. said that. Yeah, Lil Wayne, for sure. That's Is there me. anybody that, uh, do people compare you to any industry artists out here? Nah, I ain't. I, I'm going to be real. I ain't never heard no. Uh, everybody say, like, any industry artists. Nah, for sure. That's what's up. What about the hate? Because a lot of niggas say that, you know, it's a lot of hate in the city. Do you feel that hate? Do you receive that hate? Or are you just cool? Nah, I feel it for sure. Most definitely, like, yeah, it's San Antonio, man. And you know what I'm saying? You got 15 year olds running around with guns shooting at people. And that's facts. You look that shit up, you see that shit in the southwest side, west side, accidentally shoot their brother type shit. Like, shit's stupid out here. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but yeah, people don't even know you. Like, right, let's say I'm chilling with a shorty, you know what I'm saying? She cool, I think she cute, whatever. Oh, well, her friends, you know what I'm saying? Uh, niggas that she used to fuck be like, oh yeah, I'll, some of them be like, yeah, karma music go hard, fuck with it, know her car, da 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 da. And some be like, don't even know me, be like, no, nah, I heard you, bitch, fuck that. How you heard me? I'm a bitch. You don't even know me. But, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, it's just a weird ass city. Niggas like the, you know, he's talking on that pillow. Man. Yeah, mm -hmm. niggas pillow talking. They're not for to say that in person because in person it's like, what's up, bro? Like, I fuck with you. But that shit, I really let that shit get to me because a nigga don't, you know what I'm saying? I ain't going to crash out of no dumb shit. You can call, you can say this is you want over grandma or this and that, you know what I'm saying? But you're not going to tell me in my face. That's when shit finna get, you're not finna disrespect me in my face. All that pillow talking, talking and shit, talking, you know, rumors and shit, that's for the birds and bees. You come to me, talk, you say that shit to my face, then we're gonna get a pop and touch one of my people or like rob me. That's only uh, rob any of my people, which is not finna happen. Cause I know none of my niggas going out like this. That's on time, I'm really finna entertain some shit. Mm -hmm. And when I looked on your music, I ain't see too many features. How come? Uh, really, really like, cause I mean, that's the way I am. I'm not gonna hand, I, I'm not gonna hand out nobody, no features. You feel me? Some feel like, you know, there's certain people that have taken their futures and was like, oh yeah, this shit hard. This shit bang. Every feature I've done, they were satisfied. But I'm not finna, I'm not gonna let no one love on me cause I know what I do. You feel me? Like there's artists out here like, oh yeah, it's good that I'm bringing bro up. Cause we got some shit on the way too. You know, I've been working with bro. He cool. I fuck with his music. Uh, Jay, his name's Jamie. He's from Laredo, Texas, BTV. Uh, we did ops in the air, you know what I'm saying? He was blowing up a little bit in the city doing numbers, you know what I'm saying? Good, like, five, ten thousand views on this stuff, doing pretty good. You know, one of the, you know, no, most known rappers in the city. We te we teamed up, did ops in the air, dropped it on my SoundCloud. It hit 50,000 views on that bit. That was the first feature I think I ever done. And then back door, he brought his homeboy to me. I did his feature. He don't even make music. He just made a song with me. I think it hit 15,000, about to hit 20. Uh, and then... Yeah, those were the two main ones that I really like. And then he going dumb though right now. Jamie got, you know what I'm saying? He just got to work on a little bit of stuff, bro. He, he good, he cold. He got the talent though, for sure. We working on an EP, you know what I'm saying? The first time I'm bring it, I'm gonna say that. Um, man, motherfucking, we got another video coming out soon. Just this coronavirus shit. Fucking everything up. Yeah, how you moving now that the coronavirus is happening right now? Shit, the same way almost. It's not fucking being around much people going. You know, going out as much. Did it fuck up a lot of shit, though? Like, did you have any shows and shit planned? Oh, yeah, there was a show that, you know, uh, we had planned in, uh, this month on the 25th, I believe it was. Ticket sales were doing good. Ticket sales still doing good. People gonna buy them, because if it, if it still goes, you know what I'm saying, if it still happened. Um, yeah, most definitely. But, yeah, it just, it really put everything on a little hold. But, it actually, I mean, it's beneficial in a way. Like, you gotta look at everything. Like, I could work with it, you feel me? Give you time to write. You get to be home. You got the government paying some of y'all. Yeah, it's just not, it's all right. 
All right. So, what other artists in the city are you fucking with? Me, I, me personally, I'm gonna be real. Like, I, I listen to a lot of artists in the city. Like, but I know which ones are really like. Hey, I'll tell you. Like, hey, you good? I fuck with you. Like, your shit hard, cause you know it be certain moves I will. So like, so you know, Rich doing his thing. Rich doing good with it. Uh, Hulum, Hulum doing good. Hulum doing numbers on YouTube for sure. Um. My nigga Ghost surprised me the other day. You know, he always been rapping this shit. You, you know what I'm saying? He finally was like, hey, bro, let me add this shit to the, the track real quick. He did it, and I heard it, and I was just like, man, like, damn, nigga. This shit was hard. You really got to tap in with that hoe. I swear to God, I wouldn't even lie to you. I'm going to tell you like this because I'm a blunt person too, but you could call it being a, a dick or you want me to lie to you because I'll tell you like, bro, nah, this shit, honestly, it's not that good. You know what I'm saying? But why are you going to waste your time doing something that good? You want me to lie to you, tell you it's good, you keep going. You know what I'm saying? But I, I, I advise everybody to chase their dream, you know what I'm saying? No matter what it is, but I'm just gonna tell you the truth. But anyways, yeah. So I, him and then my bro Sweep. I fuck with Sweep Heavy too. Sweep Sweep slept on hard, bro. Sweep cold as damn bitch. For sure, for sure. And then we got the camera in the city. Like people that really these are the people that, you know, I'm I see mentioned a lot and talked about a lot. Like, we got Tao, shot this. Bro, bro we really been working this year, like recently improving a lot of stuff, you feel me? Uh we got bro Ace the shooter, bro going dumb too. Yeah, like everything we putting together right now, we got a good little, we got a good little movement going on right now. We got enough. I feel like we got a solid, like good lineup to really go and naturally. We at the door knocking right now. I'm gonna keep it real with you, but we need to break that bitch down. Mm -hmm. So you feel like the city's evolving, the music scene? Oh yeah, most definitely. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Most definitely. There's a new wave coming out, but y'all finna see. We we got the trap cumbia wave made down here by Rich, and then we got another wave coming out made by Lil Kum Fuck. Oh yeah, Hoodlum too made his own wave. Ain't nobody gotta sound like Hoodlum, man. You know what I'm saying? We we start we finna bring a brand new wave. Let's shit go go live. Yeah, what's your relationship like? Cause I seen him in one of your videos. Who? Hoodlum. Oh yeah, er, you know what I'm saying. Everybody bro to me. You know what I'm saying. I don't really speak on our relationships outside the music shit, but yeah, everybody. You know what I'm saying. I ain't got no bad blood with nobody. All right. So as an upcoming artist, like when do you feel like it was time for you to grab a manager? You know what? Speaking on that, like, uh, I, I, I don't really personally work with like a manager that uh, helped me book shows, get you shows and all that. But I do have one that I fuck with, Tough, that really helped me with a lot of stuff too. That's in like basically in the shadows right now, basically building me up and already telling me like help me out. His name's Nova, and Nova we trust on Instagram. That's what you know. What I'm saying he a motherfucking gold in the game. He work up there in New York with the um, record labels. I met him up there when I went, when I got out monitor. And he helped me out with a lot of stuff, you know. He's mainly helped me out with the deal situation, everything going on, like, and you know how to play my play my hands right. Cause like I said, I just started. I'm only 19 with this shit, so there's a lot I still need to learn, and I'm just trying to learn as fast as I can type of shit. And I I think I am though, real quick, real talk. Um, but yeah. yeah right are you looking to stay independent, or are you looking to create a label or to join a label? Really depends on how everything play out. Like you know, you play your cards that you dealt. You feel me? So shit, that'd be live. You could be independent. You know what I'm saying? I got a plan in the back of my head. I ain't finna let nobody. You know what I'm saying? I'm not finna put that out there on the table. But that'd be live to be independent for sure. So what's next for you? Good question. Really, it just go go with it. Like as it moves, but as it moves, or like an attitude, or like what you mean? just in general moves attitude. Man, my attitude is basically like, if you're not with me, then you in my way type shit. If you with me, we all gonna eat. You know what I'm saying? If you loyal to me, I'm gonna be loyal to you. You fuck me over, I'm gonna fuck you over. Simple, like, vice versa. That's gonna be my attitude type shit. But if you with me, you gang, you my brother, I tell you I love you, nigga, we finna eat. And I will never be a greedy person. I'll never be a mad person. I wanna see, even if, like I told Ghost earlier, bro, even if you were to make a motherfucking, a live ass song, like, and you blow, that's how you gonna make that tonight. And that shit's a banger. You know, you want one of them one hits, like, boom, you know, you on. I'll be proud of you. I'll never be like, oh man, man, fuck you, I've been doing no. I'll be like, nigga, my brother made that shit. He made it out this shit. He ain't gotta do no bullshit no more. I ain't gotta worry about him doing no dumb shit. At least he shouldn't be doing no more dumb shit crashing out. He ain't gotta uh motherfucking he ain't gotta worry about a nigga sliding or doing anything cause we out. I mean a nigga if a nigga feel like he's gonna slide regardless, but it puts him in a better position. You feel me? He finna slide regardless. But you know, and I'll be happy and that's my brother. And I wouldn't even ask nothing from him. I just expect, you know what I'm saying, I love and loyalty because that's how I am. If you're my brother and I'm up, I'm in a good ass position. Oh yeah. Putting all my people in a good ass position. My family first, but all my people coming with me too. But I would hope he would do the same. And that's just and it, and that's just how the, that's how I am, that's how my team rock. But if not, then he don't, but I wouldn't even be mad about that. Alright, so when you blow up and make it, like what's some of the things you trying to do for the city? Oh yeah, that's uh 
Most definitely, I mean, blow up, make it for sure. For, like I said, first thing I'm finna do is I'm finna put my, my mom and my family in a good-ass position. I'm gonna put my team in a good-ass position. And then there's just a lot more shit that could be done for the city, you know what I'm saying? But that's when I get deeper into it, you know what I'm saying? See what I actually can do, because there's a lot going on with this city that, you know what I'm saying? Nigga ain't really fucking with. But that city, so see what we can do. You mentioned a team, too. Like, who, who else you fucking with uh, on the team? Team-wise, you know what I'm saying? Everybody is going hard. Like I said, you know, I'm, uh, you know, I fuck with to an extent, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, and certain people, certain people is business, certain people, you my brother, like, so you feel me, like, you know, Rich going hard, Hopman them going hard, you feel me, J Money, all them, you know, their team going hard, you know, that's my people, I fuck with them tough. But yeah, the, you know, I got a little new, new little, like, little, not even like a group, like a, like a little, little project, you know what I'm saying? It helped me out, you know, I try to stay out the way, get out, get out of the streets for a little bit, you know what I'm saying? But that shit ain't work out like that, you know, be my brother and shit. Link back up with my old woodies, you know what I'm saying? Put them back in a, you know, try to put them in, in a better position. Take them with me, take everybody with me. Cause I love them, you feel me? So like, and they got talent. And I be around them all the time, so why not? Why can't we all eat and do some? So yeah, like my nigga go some fucking old stuff right now. Well, I mean, I been rocking with bro. But we on a different type of time, you know what I'm saying? Like we doing some other shit than we, what we, you know what I'm saying? Could be doing positive shit instead of crashing out type shit. But don't cheat, don't, don't get it, don't, don't get your seat though. You know what I'm saying? Just cause we chilling, trying to do something. And we ain't finna slot. But we ain't finna talk about nothing like that. And then, right now, uh, I recently started working with Tao. Tao going crazy too. Like I said, he, uh, his picture is crazy as his, his, his lighting with the shit. He's, he got a good visual on a lot of shit, bro, that helped me out. So we come together. When we come together to make a video, I feel like we see eye to eye a lot and he, you know, he, he let me, you know, say like what I like, and he let me help him, he helped me, you know what I'm saying? We, we see eye to eye, so that's real cool to have that that uh, relationship with basically someone who's shooting your, your shit, for sure, because it's your music type shit. And then I got a uh, producer I'm fucking with tough right now in the city going down. My boy uh, Doty, my boy Doty going down right now. He, his beast is there already on point. He got a sound for beats, bro. He really, really, like, every, almost every time I go in the studio so far recently, Cause I've been locking in a lot. Yeah, yeah I, there's at least he played a couple beats and there's one I will find and I feel that shit on my sleeve and like inside me so I can write that shit so fast. That's the first time I really felt beats like that with artists down here. And you know what I'm saying? He get his support where he just finna be on point. You know what I'm saying? Going stupid. I'm a, you know what I'm saying? He he young too, just like me. Young nigga from the city. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of young niggas that people sleep on that just need a little bit of help. Everybody need a little bit of work and shit. People just so quick to give up. Like, nah, I don't work like that. Let me go to the next person. But don't even really got a good relationship with that person. You know what I'm saying? When you can build one and build some real life shit, real, you know what I'm saying? Take the shit as a as a job, as your life, not some shit you doing on your free time. Mm -hmm. So is there like an artist in the industry that you feel like... You, oh yeah, you, real quick, real quick too. Oh, right, real right. quick too. Oh yeah, my partner sweep. I can't forget my partner sweep. Y'all need to stop sleeping on my, my, my nigga. My nigga been doing this shit for a little minute now. And that nigga still going fucking dumb. Threats too. Threats going dumb. We got we got a song coming out a little low. And every feat I do, we do coming out soon too. Get ready for that shit, cause that shit finna go stupid. Every feature I'm hopping on, produced by this nigga or produced by my nigga Heck. Yo boy Heck in New York. Shout out to bro up there for sure. That's my people. He a hard ass producer. Shout out to my nigga Brian, coldest engineer recorded uh, in here that I know in San Antonio. Shout out to bro. Shout out to all my people real quick. You feel me? Uh, yeah. And I forgot anybody. You know, you know I fuck with you if I fuck with you. If I don't, I don't. Then you know I don't fuck with you, niggas. So don't act like I do. <laughs> mm -hmm. So okay. you got a tape coming out soon? Uh, yeah, I got a, I got well, a little EP. You feel me? I give him a little snippet real quick uh, of a little bit of stuff that's on it. Uh, type shit. Um, I think I'm gonna put one of the songs on the videos on the tape for sure. Homicide. I think I'm gonna make that one of the main things. Really push that because it's a good video coming out. I want to get it on a good platform. But yeah. Uh, I got a, a, a EP come out, take coming out pretty soon, within the next two months, three months for sure, because I really want to get it right, get the good, you know what I'm saying? Probably way sooner than that, most likely. But I mean, I'm consistently dropping music still. I got this video dropping, you know what I'm saying? I'm not finna give it to y'all all at once. Y'all finna have to work for that, see how shit go. But depending on how homicide go, I might just fuck around and change that EP to an album. Instead of putting like four, five songs on that bitch, put like eight to nine. Most definitely. All right, anything else you got coming? Like when the corona shit is over, are you looking to do shows in the city? Oh, yeah, most definitely. As soon as the corona is done, I'm going to New York. I don't fuck with you. Don't, don't text me. Don't call me.
Fuck in New York. I'm not gonna tell y'all what I'm going for, but as soon as the crow's over, I'm yeah, I'm going to New York. I'm flying out to New York for sure. And then we gonna see what's up with these shows and get shit rocking and just go even harder. Cause I'm with the game. We moving better. Everybody outside again. You feel me? You know, Corona gone away, then the whole thing be out. We finna to come five finna be out. Fuck you talking about? All right. So, uh, what's your social media? My social media, really, everything's under Karma. The number five, the way I put it, is N H U N N I T. Karma five hundred. Who on the gang?